the water? No problem. Land won't stop this boat. It always attracts a lot of uh, interest and attention wherever it goes. At 10 kilometers an hour on land and up to 80 on water, Sea Legs is a head-turning, award-winning design. The key thing with Sea Legs is that the wheels retract a bit like an aeroplane and they come right up out of the water so that there's no drag at all. A few years back, it won the coveted Best of What's New award from Popular Science magazine. And now, Sea Legs is about to make tracks in a much bigger way. It's just huge. It's um, 15,000 pounds. A new 10-meter supersized version set to revolutionize commercial boating. Project name is Croxilla um, because it it's just looks a bit like that. It's just this big monster machine. While the giant hull is being built, they're testing the new souped-up amphibious technology on a smaller rolling frame. Today, the push is on to see for the first time how Croxilla handles some pretty tough terrain. Boy, this is grossy stuff. We just started at an off-site location um, where we can do testing sort of out of the public eye. So. Uh, you'll be um, one of the first to see it. I live on the beach and basically I wanted to make it easier for myself to get a boat in and out of the water. Maurice Bryan had a vision of what he wanted and figured, hey, why not? And being a Kiwi, um, we've got a bit of a culture of innovation and just doing it. So, so uh, yeah, I built the first one in my garage, um, brought a boat and uh, you know, tinkered away, made up these legs and wheels and uh, yeah, that first prototype worked really well. One of the biggest challenges was being able to handle the rigors of the ocean. There's not many existing parts that can withstand the saltwater environment for, for wheels and axles and hubs. So a lot of those parts we have to make ourselves um, out of special stainless steel and marine anodized componentry. An inboard engine drives the hydraulics. So that's what makes the wheels go around and brings the legs up and down. There's no quicker way to deploy a boat from land than sea legs which is why first responders are some of Maurice's best customers. But to accommodate more crew and equipment, they need a much larger craft, much larger. It's a little bit like taking a Mini with the four wheels and making a you know, Mack truck. The Sea Legs technology works well for the six and seven meter models, but the huge new 10 meter boat presents a huge new challenge. Everything is different. We have to clean piece of paper, all the design, the CAD work, the analysis, uh, the hydraulics, the calculations, massive amount of work in design. Today, a big test for that new design, putting the massive new wheels through their paces before they're attached to the hull. High speed, low torque, all right? And then, uh, then we'll go into uh, low speed, high torque. The technology is set up on a small test rig. They need to see if it can handle the tough terrain it might encounter as a rescue craft. As you're coming through the top of sand dunes or you know, coming off unknown beaches, you may hit this type of terrain. Everything tests out fine through the high grass. When we tested in the workshop on, on the flat, you know, we had a, an issue with the software. It kept switching in and out of high and low mode. So we kind of got this dit, 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 dit effect. But uh, yeah, running it out here, it's all smooth. It's staying in mode. And that was a really positive result. The ultimate challenge is still to come. Well, I think the, the really big test we've got today is, is can it get up this, this terrain? I mean, this, this stuff is pretty soft, loose clay and soil, and uh, we're going to try and get up this really big incline and try and get the front wheel right up the top. What's happening here is on our test jig, we don't have enough weight. The system's designed for 15,000 pounds. So even here, it's still staying in the high speed, which is the low torque mode. They'll need to use diff lock, which forces hydraulic fluid to each wheel so they'll all rotate at the same time, giving that extra traction to get up the steepest part of the hill. That was pretty impressive. It's, uh, it was a pretty steep hill, so uh, yeah. And when we switched on the diff lock, we just yep, kept going. There's plenty of power, plenty of torque, so yeah, we're pretty happy. But no time to celebrate. In just a few short months, they'll be unveiling their new twin diesel, twin jet drive monster craft to the world. It's been a, a phenomenal ride to uh, 
to come up with a seedlings idea and build one in my garage and then really see with, with all the people and the team we've got together, you know, take it to really a, a worldwide global product, um, you know, over 850 worldwide with lots of happy customers and, you know, they just keep getting bigger and better. <laughs>